Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to continue working on our new uh, base here. Uh, so, as you can see, I have uh, completed the walls, and I have a couple of um, lofts up above where I'm currently parking the animals. And uh, this is probably going to turn into a barn at a later date, uh, but for now it's going to be our kind of combination uh, critter shelter and uh, also our oh, excuse me our, our actual base until uh, you know until we build our main base uh, so let's see here I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna get started with putting up like our crafting stations and stuff I already put up a preserving bin here and got all of our spoilable stuff in here and also a trough. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that trough there permanently, but uh, th that's where I have it for the moment anyway. So, you know what? This is going to actually freaking drive me nuts. So I'm going to just put this on manual for now. Uh, so it doesn't keep opening and closing. Uh, all right. So this I just had down temporarily in case I bit the dust. Um, we can pick this up, actually, but you know what, though? We might as well just make an actual bed bed, since we're here. So let's do that next. So we just need to get some hide. I've been kind of storing things on Stega here. Uh, I also had a little bit of a, of a scare. You guys, some of you may have noticed in the last episode, and I haven't seen any comments from that yet. But um, I actually lost Grela, um, our most valuable RZ with all of our most valuable stuff inside of her, <laughs> except for the stuff that I'm carrying. Uh, you know, she was so weighed down that on our trip over here, she, you know, she fell further and further behind until we basically got out of range. Uh, the good news, though, is that when that happens, she just kind of goes into like a stasis mode in midair. And so... When I realized, you know, I couldn't find her, I, I basically retraced our, my steps on Petra, and I saw her floating in the middle air and looked, breathed a big sigh of relief because I was, like, freaking out, like, oh, no, that was the worst dino we could have lost, you know. Uh, but it turned out to be okay, so very happy about that. All right, let's put our bed. Um, I think I'll just set the bed here for now. Again, not necessarily going to be the permanent location uh, for it, uh, but we'll keep it here. Now, I also have some more uh, news, I guess is the word. Is that clipping? Okay. Let's also put this down, too. That way it'll give us two options in case we have a couple of back-to-back -back deaths. Uh, we'll just put that there. Okay. Um, so, you might be wondering why, when I look at... <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, these building pieces, it out, it's outlined in red. It's because we have the Builder's Helmet mod. And what's even better about the Builder's Helmet mod is it allows you to pick stuff back up. Uh, because I couldn't... Uh, apparently, and I, I mentioned this to you guys before, apparently S Plus no longer, at least by default, allows you to pick stuff up like it used to. And I, I did a little bit of research on it, and I, I was... I couldn't really definitively figure out how to enable it um, in all of the S plus any file configurations. There isn't anything that I saw anyways that specifically dealt with allowing pickup. Uh, there's supposed to be potentially a setting in the server settings in the arc any file itself that can allow that. Uh, but I was looking through that file in my local, uh, my local files and I couldn't find it. So maybe you can just add it to enable that. Um, so, you know, but I never really kind of, you know, figured that out. And then as I was doing some research, somebody said, hey, the builder's mod, uh, the builder helmet mod will let you do that. And sure enough, it does. So it's just awesome because now we can actually pick stuff up um, and, and not have to destroy it. So anyway, that's uh, some good news there. And plus the builder's helmet, like I said, it'll outline stuff so you can see exactly what you're looking at and maybe do a couple other things. But the most important thing is that it lets us pick things up, which is just great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to get some for, uh, some furnaces going. We need to get a, a, another smithy going, some campfire stuff. So I think this will kind of be our cooking area for now since we've got the preserving bin over there. Um, so let's make ourselves a cooking pot. 
And, you know, as we, as we pr progress, we'll, we'll get the better stuff, you know, the industrial stuff. Um, but for now, we're just going to make, you know, what we can immediately start making use of. So let's go ahead and we need to get some flint and some stone. Yes. Hi girl. I am as soon as possible, you know, going to build an, a corral too. I'm not necessarily going to keep these critters in here all of the time, but I don't know that I'll, if I'll get to that, you know, before I'm finished playing for today. So if that ends up being the case, you know, then at least they're safe and sound inside of here. All right. So we can put that stone back there. And so, yeah, let's put, uh, we'll eventually probably have multiple preserving bins. Well, no, eventually we'll have a refrigerator. Uh, and, and we, the preserving bins are still useful though, too, actually, now that I think of it, because you can still use them to make jerky and things like that. Um, where do I want to put this thing? I really hate the collision on this cooking pot. It's like, seems to be excessive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's probably about as good as it's going to get. Okay. Let's also, how much metal do I have? 13. Uh, do you have any metal on you, Stega? Yes, you do. Okay. I want to make a table to put our um, mortar and pestles on. And actually, yeah, I do want to move that back. Let's pick that back up again. If we, we kind of scooch back here. Okay, let's actually hold off on putting that down for the moment. What I want to do is I want to make a table. The wooden table. So we need 12 metal and 100 wood. Okay, so let's make a table. Guess that'll have to do. Now, can we squeeze this thingy in here somehow? Okay, so we'll just put that there. Okay, so now what I could do here, if I wanted to, is we could take this and turn it this way and put two in. But I'm not going to do that until I need to do that. So for now, we're just going to leave that the way that it is. Excellent. Okay, let's make three mortar and pestles. So we're going to need uh, stone for these. And yeah, it looks like I probably have enough hide already. Okay. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to put this one right in the center. We're close enough to the center. And then we're going to put this one on this side and this one on this side. There we go. Okay. So one will be for gunpowder one and spark powder. One will be for narcotics and one will be for like cementing paste. However, I think we're probably going to get the majority of our cementing paste from beaver nams. Let's take whatever we currently have for narcotics and get those going. Cool. Okay, so that kind of takes care of our, our kitchen area for now. Um, I'll probably run some water pipes up from down there um, and over to here, I suppose. Hmm. You know, now that I think about that, though, maybe it would make more sense to put the kitchen in this corner just so we can run water right to it. All right, well, let's come back to that idea. I, I'm going to put the furnaces in this corner, um, you know, just along this wall. So let's do those next. Uh, are they furnaces or forges? I guess they're forges. Depends upon which game you're playing. Okay, so we need flint and stone. Hide and more wood. All right, well, you got lots of stone. 
But it looks like we're going to need to go get some more flint and wood. Because I don't think Grayla has those basic resources in her inventory. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so... Um, what do we need? Wood. Right, okay. So I'm going to take... Yeah, she's still pretty weighed down. So let's take the saddle off of Grayla and we'll put it on granite. And let's go get a batch of wood and then we'll get a batch of flint. Alright, so let's see here. We could probably get four forges in there, I'm thinking. So let's grab this stone. Oh, we need fiber too. Okay. Yeah, we got lots of fiber. One, two, three, four. Only one. Now what are we short? Hide and wood. Okay, so grab some wood. Grab some hide. Are we really out of hide? I don't... Yeah, we are. Wow, okay. Hmm. In that case, let's put the stone and the flint back in the dodic, and maybe the metal too for now. Uh, we have one one forge made up, so I guess we'll get that one down first. Can we scooch through here? Yeah, we can. Okay, and then let's turn it this way so it's more or less straight. Is that clipping? Nope. Looks pretty good. Um, Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go need... Uh, I'm going to need to go farm up some hide. Let me check the the other critters here. You don't have any hide on you. What about wine? Wine doesn't have anything. Um, let's get the help. What about you? Nope, you don't have any hide. Uh, give me your spoiled meat, though. You guys would probably like some fish, but... I'll worry about that later. It'll be fine for now. Why don't we get this forge going? And I'm going to grab the metal off of you. We have plenty of metal around here, so we might as well start smelting this and we can get more. Uh, later let's get let's actually get some storage going so that way I can empty out Grayla and take her out so we can keep leveling her so let's go storage I'm gonna do the s plus storage we need fiber thatch and wood for that as far as where I'm gonna put the storage I think yeah we're gonna need room I think I am going to move the kitchen to this corner just because then we can run the water more directly to it. So I might actually want to put the storage here just so we come in the door and then it's just immediately to the left of us. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to just keep everything in one preserving bin until we need to switch over to the other one so we're not burning spark powder unnecessarily beautiful okay throw off i think we'll just well 
yeah, we could probably leave that drop there for now. Though it might make sense to at least put it over here just so we can get to it e more easily. Yeah, let's do that. Right about there is good. And then we need to grab all of this. And put it all in here. Looking good. Now let's make some storage vents. Alright, let's start with four. And then we'll see uh, we'll see how things are fitting. Okay, and then we'll pull it out a little bit, maybe out this way a smidge. And then the rest of them will just snap in place like that. That's the beauty of S plus. And then we can come back. Oh, actually, we can't get back in there. Um, damn. Okay. I mean, I, I can crouch. So, yeah, I guess whatever we put in here will be items that we don't need to access very often. I can get to... Oh, I can't even get to that one either. Guess you have to be looking. No, don't do that. You have to be looking directly at it. Oh, that sucks. Hmm. Well, this is temporary, so I guess I'll just have to, you know, to get back in here, we'll have to crouch to get to the stuff. It's not that big of a deal. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, but not that big of a deal. Okay, let's make let's make at least one more of these. For now, I'm going to leave the, the window open. So we can easily get to that one, that one. See, that one we can't... Oh, man, this is going to piss me off, actually. I don't do that. I just don't want to have to screw around with having to crouch to get back there each time. So these three back here will, will just, you know, be stuff that we won't have to access very often. And the one all the way on the end will be the things we'll access a lot, like, you know, wood and stone and that sort of thing. Okay. The decision has been made. So let's toss the wood over there. So we'll, we'll keep wood, thatch, uh, fiber, stone, you know, the, the raw resources in there uh, we'll probably put animal products in here okay so that's going to be hide chitin keratin etc um let's see what else what's going to be the another thing we're going to have a lot of oh he's, he's got he's got metal let's put the, that in here okay uh seeds i'm just going to put in the trough because they'll automatically go in there silk resource that's going to be a seldomly used item but let's just put that in here for now So yeah, I can just use this and it'll throw the seeds in there. It's just a quick and easy way to store them. Seeds are one of those things in this game where you get way more than you'll ever, ever need. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. We'll put these in here because at some point we need we should make some stimulant. And I'm actually going to store the narcotic in there for the moment too. Um, okay, so what we'll put in here is let's put armor and tools and weapons and ammo kinds of things in here and i think i'll put saddles in there and kind of maybe like just miscellaneous stuff and maybe you know 
buildable items. Okay, so now that we have that figured out, let's go ahead and name this, and we're going to call this Raw Resources. We're going to call this Animal Products. We're going to call this uh, Tools weapons armor and we're gonna call this get the wrong button there building and misc for now and then if I do end up using those for something you might you know what we could do is we could maybe use those for overflow Prints too. We're gonna eventually gonna need something for those. In fact, well, yeah. Let's just put those in miscellaneous. No, actually, I'm gonna put blueprints all the way over here because that's something we're only gonna use on rare occasions. Uh, we'll also keep like recipes and stuff like that too. I'm actually gonna keep the recipes at least one copy of each until I remember again what everything takes because right now I don't so we're gonna call this recipes and BPs okay that works um we should also probably have here let's do this let's call this animal products and Hymns. And I'm going to call, I'm going to consider like cementing paste and salt and, well, blubber's an animal product anyways. Oh, we got a bunch of hide right there. Okay, never mind. We're good to go on hide. Um, these are like, uh, whatchamacallits. For summoning. So they're like artifacts, I think. So that kind of thing we will keep in the miscellaneous chest for the for now. That's all of that stuff. Tools, weapons, armor, raw resources. I think we can consider pearls and that kind of stuff. Raw resources. These are animal products. Uh, Gunpowder should go in here because that's a quote-unquote Kim, we'll say. We'll keep this extra ammo in there. That's probably something I'll actually store in the in the smithy. Runes can be like artifacts. We'll probably end up actually making... Uh, making our own whoa what happened to your textures we need a wood a flint and a stone to fix our torch okay so since we don't have to go get a bunch of hide let's get the rest of the furnaces going turn it this way so it's straight ish Let's do that. And then we'll twist it that way. And then this one we'll put in here. Twist it that way. And that, that's close enough. They're not perfect, but good enough. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, so... Yeah, I think a smithy is probably the last thing we need to set up for the moment. We have a lot more workstations, of course, that we'll have to get in place when the time comes, but uh, once we get the smithy in place, then I think we're kind of caught up to where we currently are. I, I can learn the Ingram, so I just haven't gotten around to it yet. 
All right, so we need metal ingots and stone for that. I think I'm going to actually make a couple of smithies. Let me hold that back a little more. And that one can go there. Good. So that gives us a couple smithies to make ammo and whatever else we need to. And there's still plenty of room to expand in this in here too when we get uh, bigger and better things. Okay, guys. So before I let you go, um, what I'm going to work on off camera is basically the roof. Uh, so we're going to put a roof on the place. I might even... I might even just do a a flat roof only because this is going to be a barn that will probably go up higher and have multiple levels later on. Um, and I might want to go higher than this. So if that's the case, then if we put just a flat roof in right now, that will then become the third floor later on. So that's kind of the tentative plan for that, and I'm just going to make it out of wood. Okay, so I think I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So I'll work on the roof, and then I'm going to just spend a bunch of time gathering up a whole crap ton of resources, getting a bunch of metal smelted, uh, get gunpowder made, you know, just the usual stuff. And then uh, I'll bring you guys back at some point in the very near future, and we'll continue having a lot of fun here in Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorda map. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.